guys, here's something you may not have even known about. It's a unique roadside attraction. Here it's a curiosity of South Carolina. A lot of people don't even know this is here. Um, and it's a, uh, a free attraction you can actually see and do. Um, and a lot of people don't know about it. And it's a curiosity, it's on a lot of lists. But yet you may be driving outside of Myrtle Beach when you visited and you pass by it and you've already left town and don't even know that you did. Um, so today, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Um, before you leave town, you can check this out. I'll tell you where it is. It's on 501, near Myrtle Beach, right almost across from Coastal Carolina College. And again, this is on a lot of lists, but it's on obscure lists, and you would probably drive by it you can hear the traffic here, and you probably drive by it and wouldn't even know it's here. But you can put this on your list of things to do. A lot of the locals know about it, but a lot of travelers don't know about it. It's the Traveler's Chapel. It's a tiny chapel, roadside in Horry County, in Mer just outside Myrtle Beach, South Carolina on 501. Very small chapel, there's actually weddings here. Um, and it's all run by volunteer. This is one of these things that you can check out. You can stop in. Um, it was built in 1972 uh, by the Reverend Emery Young and his son, Bruce Young along with a bunch of volunteers uh, and they built the Traveler's Chapel it's for people who are visiting coming in and out of town um, it was funded by a lot of local businesses and churches and individuals and this chapel is visited by hundreds of people each year you know local residents uh, college students small weddings obviously there's not a whole lot of room in here and the chapel is operated by volunteers who take care of the mowing and cutting there's a lady that was just here she was sweeping inside the chapel uh, it's a unique place for tourists because it's and it's open 24 hours a day uh, you know, it's run by donation. So let's go ahead and go inside. Again, you wouldn't, you could drive down the road and a lot of people don't even know this is here. It's a unique roadside attraction in South Carolina for sure. There's only six pews here. It's a great place to relax, to rest, to pray. As you can see, it's a small place. Now, the chapel has fell victim to fires and storms. Uh, Hurricane Matthew, you know, some trees were down. People supplied materials and built it back up so that it's open to the public and visitors. Uh, the building has been on fire before and been rebuilt and storm, but over the years everybody has volunteered and maintained this chapel. I would put this on your list to do if you thought about something unique that you didn't know about. There's a guest register here. Chapel guests are asked to sign in, leave prayers, requests. As you can see,
that this is one of those unique stops that a lot of people would not even know about. So if you guys like this, go ahead and share this with somebody you know who could use it. And maybe when you're in Myrtle Beach, this is something that you'll put on your list to do. It's just outside Myrtle Beach on 501, across from Coastal Carolina College. If you drive by too fast, it's probably one of those things that you would miss on Roadside America that you could visit. It's a cute little college, a uh, cute little chapel across from the college. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Go ahead and make a comment below. And we hope to see you soon in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. If you haven't already subscribed, new videos come out each week. Take care.